Those of you who watch my podcast know that I have stated time and again that I do not believe that Hillary Clinton is a liberal, and I have a ton of reasons to validate this viewpoint. So first and foremost, her vote for the Iraq War, her vote for the Patriot Act, her support and pushing Obama to invade Libya, uh, her support for a Syrian no-fly zone, the fact that she was the last person to come around to marriage equality, the fact that she's against uh, legalizing marijuana. There's so many reasons as to why I don't feel as though Hillary Clinton is liberal. And one of the biggest that is just frustrating to me is she is against a core democratic principle that is to secure universal health care for everyone, a national health system. So I don't believe she's a liberal. You can disagree with that if you want to, but I don't think you have a good argument. But some new information that has recently emerged is further proving my point. So Hillary Clinton is now taking Koch brother lobbyist money. And furthermore, she may actually be courting Bush's donors. So I'm going to break this down into two parts. So first, getting to the Koch money, Huffington Post writes that recently billionaire Charles Koch gave a vague endorsement of Clinton, essentially expressing that she would be more favorable than any of the current Republican candidates. Koch told ABC News that it's possible Clinton could be better than another Republican next time around. Clinton immediately took to Twitter to disavow this half-hearted support from Koch, writing, not interested in endorsements from people who deny climate science and try to make it harder for people to vote. I agree with that. I also don't like people who aren't going to do anything about climate change, who would take money from the fossil fuel industry. And furthermore, I really dislike it when parties make it harder for people to vote. So when you purge Democratic voters from party lists, when you have these closed primaries and restrict independence from voting, that's the kind of stuff I don't like. Oh, wait, we're talking about Republicans because they're the only ones who could do bad things, right, Hillary? Anyways, I'm, I'm going to go on a tangent, so let's get right back into it. So it turns out that her tweet is not true because she's taking lobbyist money from the Koch brothers. Heather Podesta is a former lobbyist for Koch Industries and according to The Intercept, one of the most prolific fundraisers for the Clinton campaign, having personally raised at least $348,000 as of February 2016. Others associated with Koch Industries, such as Amy Trainer and Robert Hall, have donated large sums to Clinton's campaigns. Capital Council, a lobbying firm for Koch Industries that has received a lobbying income of $320,000, also contains multiple employees who are fundraising for Clinton. Now, again, I don't think this is very surprising, seeing that Hillary Clinton will take money from everyone. She did take money from the private prison industry at first until she got a lot of scrutiny for it and then decided to donate the money to charity. But this is someone who takes money from the fossil fuel industry. She'll claim that she doesn't, but we're not dumb. We know that lobbyists are bundling their contributions to her. And furthermore, she's taking money from pro-fracking companies and pro-fracking individuals. So even though it's the case that Hillary Clinton doesn't just outright deny climate change, she won't be any better on it than Republicans because someone who is bought off is only marginally better than someone who just denies climate change altogether. Because I know that Hillary Clinton is not a warrior for climate change. And when confronted about this and whether or not she would stop taking money, she tried to play dumb. So I do not trust Hillary Clinton, and I know that she's not the right candidate to actually tackle climate change in any substantive way. But I want to get on to the next point, because Hillary Clinton's campaign may actually be courting Bush's former donors. Now, the alleged pitch is that Hillary Clinton represents their values better than Trump. No shit. So Politico explains that Hillary Clinton's supporters in recent days have been making a furious round of calls to top Bush family donors to try to convince them that she represents their values better than Donald Trump. Multiple sources in both parties told Politico the moves come as Clinton and the Democratic Party try to take advantage of deep unease among establishment Republicans on Wall Street and elsewhere with Trump's emergence as the presumptive Republican nominee. Top targets for the Clinton team include people like Woody Johnson, Jeb Bush's former finance chair, and the owner of the New York Jets. Now, here's what the Clinton campaign had to say when asked about this. Clinton spokesman Josh Schwerin did not deny the calls were happening. There's no official outreach from the campaign, but I would not be at all surprised if our supporters are doing it on their own. Really? You expect us to believe that rather than phone banking or canvassing for Hillary Clinton or just outright donating to her themselves, they're going to call up rich donors? Really? And these rich donors are going to answer the phone for some peasant Hillary Clinton supporter and not Hillary herself? 
That's not the way the game works. <laughs> I was born at night, but not last night. I'm not that naive. See, when you call these donors, the reason why they pick up the phone is because they see Hillary Clinton on the caller ID. So now, of course, what I'm saying is just speculation, but we have no reason to believe the Hillary Clinton campaign. They have lied before, and Hillary Clinton has proven time and again that she's a compulsive liar. So if you think that the Clinton campaign is not trying to encourage them to call donors and that they're just doing this on their own accord, you're really naive. So obviously that's probably not the case. Again, I don't have evidence of this, but let's be realistic. Come on. Now, if it were the case that Hillary Clinton was actually a principled politician, she would tell her supporters, no, I don't want Republican money. I don't want this disgusting blood money from defense contractors. They can keep their money. Now, she'll say it in public, like she did to the Koch brothers, but in actuality, behind closed doors, she'll take Koch lobbyist money. So we know that Hillary Clinton wants that money, because to Hillary Clinton, money talks. She doesn't care about the policy, she doesn't care about the supporters, she doesn't care about the country. What Hillary Clinton cares about is herself. And there are many examples about how Hillary Clinton does one thing in public and another thing in private. A story recently broke about how even though in public she supported Obama in the Iran deal, well, behind closed doors, she actually wanted to impose more sanctions on Iran to get them to buckle during negotiations, which I can't even imagine why anyone would think that's a logical way to negotiate, but that's what she wanted. She took a Republican position. So I don't expect Hillary Clinton to do the same thing in private as she's saying she's going to do in public. Nobody should because she's demonstrated time and again that she cannot be trusted. So again, Hillary Clinton is not a liberal. She is a Democrat in name only, but honestly, I think that that saying, Dino, Democrat in name only, it's starting to lose its weight because the entire party is no longer representative of Democratic voters. They're no longer representative of core Democratic ideals. I feel as though they don't represent me, hence the reason why I'm gonna change my status to independent after the convention. So nobody should be surprised by this. I'm certainly not, but it just proves that Hillary Clinton She's willing to do anything to win, and she doesn't care whose money it is, she'll take it. It doesn't matter if you're a greedy Republican, you could literally be Satan, and Hillary Clinton will welcome your money with open arms. Because that's Hillary Clinton, uh, it's no surprise.